All right, guys, we are back with round one, hat format at Epic Cards and Games in Hearst, Texas. We got Elden on the left playing hat versus the Sheriff Los on the right playing mermails. Um, Elden is kind of new to the channel, but he did get second place in our largest Time Wizard tournament ever with the same deck hat. So Los is going first. Normal summons mermail abyss pike activates abyss pike's effect to send one water monster from your hand. To the graveyard to search any level 3 water monster from your deck to your hand. So you search Atlantean Marksman. Then sets 3. Yeah, Pike activates when it's normal or special summoned. Here comes Upstart from Elden. Many of you guys may be wondering why we haven't seen the Sheriff Lowe's. He's just been busy. He hasn't been playing as much. But he's back here today with his Mermel deck. Now Lowe's did win one tournament with Mermel. But it was when I was out of town. So I did not film it. So we'll see if he can get that win on the channel. All right. So uh, Elden starts out by normal summoning Ice Hand. Oh, Los is rating. Yeah. We're, again, guys, we're all still very new to Hat, even Los. We're just going based off memory. But Los did play back then. He played in 2014. But it still need a refresher. All right. Spectre Man's been 10 years. So here he attacks into the. Abyss Pike activates Ice Hand. So uh, the Fire and Ice Hand, if they're destroyed by your in your possession by your opponent's card, you can destroy for Ice Hand. You can destroy a Spell or Trap. Then you can special summon a Fire Hand from your deck, and Fire Hand destroys a monster. So here you saw he he crashed the Fire Hand into the into the Abyss Pike. So here Los activates. Uh, Mer uh, Abyss Sphere, which special summons a Mermel from your deck. And during your opponent's end phase, Abyss Sphere destroys the monster. So it's going to destroy the Lin. And Lin, when it's destroyed by battle or card effect, you can special summon a Mermel monster from your deck. So here he special summons Mermel Abyss Pike. So same thing. He discards the Marksman. He has to target for Marksman, though. Yeah, he's going to He's going to uh, search... Any, any level 3 water monster from his deck. So he searches Jinx, Undyne, and then Marksman destroys Elden's Book of Moon. So yes, that's what happened. Abyss Fear destroyed the Lin during Elden's end phase. Brought out Pike. Pike discarded Marksman. Marksman popped the back row. Searched Undyne. And now he summons Jinx, Undyne. So Gen Jinx, Undyne, you can send any water monster from your deck. It is a cost. And then you search. You, ha you have to have a Jinx controller in your deck to search it off of... Uh, Undyne. So yes, he searches the controller, sends Atlantean Dragoons. And when Atlantean Dragoons is sent to the graveyard for a Water Monster's effect, you can add any Sea Serpent. I believe any Sea Serpent from your deck to your hand, except except Atlantean Dragoons. So here, Elden activates Artifact Sanctum, which puts some of his Artifact from your deck. Special Summon is Moral Attack. Now, Moral Attack, when it's Special Summon during your opponent's turn, destroy any face of card your opponent controls. Doesn't target. And it is mandatory, which I found out during this tournament. Alright, so he's going to pop the pike. So, low search Moon and Glacia. So, ooh, Soul Charge! Alright. Now let's go over Soul Charge. I'm still explaining all the cards for the time being. So, Soul Charge, you can... Special summon as many monsters as possible... And if you do, you pay a thousand life points for each. You can only activate one soul charge per turn. You cannot conduct the, your battle phase to turn you activate soul charge. So Lowe's is gonna target three targets. And then he pays three thousand. You can see here. Gets Pike, Goons, and Lind. So here he bottomlesses all three. Ooh, that hurts. Now Lind, Abyss Lind has to go to the graveyard. So it, like bottomless hurts it really bad. But Lowe's could still activate Abyss Pike's effect. Because it's it's when it's normal or special summoned. So he discards Goons. He's going to search for Abyss Pike. Searches another Undyne. Now, um... And then he passes. Would Los have, I think Los is going to use the effect anyway. So you're going to power duality from Elden reveals 
uh, Compulse, Trap to Strap, One Nightmare, and Artifact Morte. So, Pot of Duality, you reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add one to your hand. You can't special summon the turn. You activate Pot of Duality, and you can only activate one Pot of Duality per turn. So, what do you have? The Compulse or the Trap to Strap, One Nightmare? Here comes Ice Hand from Elden. Attacks over the Undyne. And attacks with Moral Attack. Now, Elden sets to... So that Sea Serpent you saw low search, it's basically a delinquent duo, but you have to have exactly five water monsters in your graveyard. I, I like that card, but it just it's so hard to like I, I believe you have to have exactly five. That's why like I almost never played that card all all the time because I ran Mermails more than in more than one format. And that card never made its way to my deck just because it's just, just so situational. Yeah, yeah, you have to have exactly five water monsters. That's why I never liked it. If it was like five or more, it would be okay. Yeah, Los is reading it. 78 to 37. All right, so he does have exactly five. Special summons Moulin Glacia. But Elden has no cards in hand. I guess he's summoning it just to have a beater. Okay, let's read Moulin Glacia. I think he has to activate the effect, even though he has no... Yeah, I think it's mandatory to activate the effect. So it'll activate even if they have less than two cards. So, like... Now Lowe's... Oh, yeah, he's just special summoning in. It's a 2800 beater. So now Lowe's sends title. He summons Genix Undyne, sends title from his deck to his graveyard, and then act, adds the second controller. Banishes... So remember, the Dragon Rulers... Uh, you can banish any drag. You can ban so you can special summon a dragon ruler from your hand or graveyard by banishing uh, any dragons from your hand or graveyard, or same attribute as the dragon ruler. So titles of water, you can you can uh, banish water monsters. So here, Los attacks over the ice hand, and Elden pops the set bottomless. Is he going to run over the fire hand? So Undyne attacks over fire hand. He's reading Moulin Glacia. Now he's going to get ice hand from his deck. Okay, so I want to go over something that happened because I know what happened. I, was, I think I was sitting there. Yeah, I was sitting right next to them when this happened. Um, Moulin Glacier says, if this face of card leaves this field, skip the battle phase of your next turn, and they both forgot. So, spoiler alert, they both forgot about Moulin Glacier's effect to skip the battle phase. Probably because Elder's never seen that card, and Lowe says, you know, probably forgot that clause. So, here, Elden Call of Haunted's pops the title. Activates upstart. Attacks over uh, Undyne. So remember, Ar Artifact Moral Attack with Special Summon during Los's turn, so it pops a face-up card. So now Los is going to Special Summon title. Now, remember, he's supposed to skip his battle phase, but they both forgot. Well, I think Elden didn't know, and Los just forgot about that effect. What does he have? So he composes back the title. Undyne crashes with the ice hand. They're both 14, I believe. Yep. Yeah, so he wasn't supposed to crash right there. He was not supposed to crash with the... Wait, so he should still have ice hand. Ooh, that... I, I can see the, the, the... Why this was a big deal. Okay. Now, he summons Trap Tricks Dianea, which Dianea is a basically a Debris Dragon slash Blizzard for Trap Tricks monsters, but he has no Trap Tricks in the graveyard, so it's just a 1700 vanilla. So here, Los activates Abyss Sphere. Remember, Special Summons a Mermail monster from your deck. Destroyed during your opponent's end phase. So he gets Abyss Lin, which is kind of like, it's kind of like a tomato, but if it's destroyed by battle or card effect, any, any, 
any card effect. Your, yours or your opponent's. So it's pretty good with Torrential. Like, you can Torrential your own Lind. See, had, had Low skipped his... Oh, see, they're going over it right here. Had Low skipped his battle phase, uh, Elden could have made Dweller. And it would have... I don't know, man. Would... I think it would have been a different outcome because Elden would have had would have potentially been able to make a dweller and stop this play. But Lowe still has title. So we'll see how this game plays out. But I, I I can tell like Elden's probably a little upset. But I mean So you gotta read the card. Just the, the what's the the number one meme in Yu-Gi-Oh? Yu-Gi-Oh players don't know how to read. And yeah, both of them missed that part of the effect. I think they finally caught it, yeah. Because I, I was sitting next to them, and I remember Elden was a little upset about it. Yeah, because then he would just dweller him right here, and then Los wouldn't be making... He would have... He probably would just run over, but then Los wouldn't use the sphere. I think what would happen was Los wouldn't use the sphere. So Elden would probably still go dweller, but then Los still has title, and then he could, like, abyss sphere. So I, I think, yeah, Los would have still been in a good spot. Depending on on what Elden's back row is. Okay, so we'll see. So here, uh, low normal time is Mermaid Abyss Turge. So Abyss Turge, you discard one water monster from your hand. Uh, so it's kind of like kind of like Pike, except the difference is you you add a level three water monster from your graveyard to your hand. I think it's 1,700 attack. So do you crash with the... Oh, no, he can't run over the Dianea. He has to, like... I guess you can go Big Eye. Oh, he does go Big Eye. Big Eye, take the Dianea. Ooh. Now Los is in trouble. Yep. So Travis Trample Nightmare of a monster with special summon this turn uses its effect, negate the effect, and destroy it. So now he leaves Los at 300, so now Elden sets one. Low special summon is Mermbill Abyssteus, discarding Lin, activates Abyssteus. So Abyssteus, uh, you can discard one water monster, special summon it from your hand. And if you do search any level 4 or lower Mermbill monster from your deck to your hand, so he searches Abyss Gund. Now he's going to special summon Tidal. So you're seeing the power of Dragon Ruler just coming back every turn. So here, Elden Torrentials. Yes, Losa not normal summon, so he sets a monster. I think he, he knows he searched the Abyss Lindy. Yeah, this is not looking good for Elden. Like, what do you do? You attack the Lind, he's just going to get a monster bigger than the, than the Mermaleo. Yeah, he can just get... Also, he can get Pike and ditch the Gundy from his hand. If he plays more than one Turge, you can use Turge. I like one Turge. So yeah, he he special summons Pike off the Abyss Lind, discards Gundy. Mar um, he ditched Marksman. Oh no, he's searching Marksman, and then Gundy gets Abyss Lead from his graveyard. So Abyss Gundy, if it's discarded to the graveyard by any way, it's not like the other word needs to be discarded by a Water Monster effect. Abyss lead, uh, no, Abyss Gundy, if it's discarded to the graveyard, it's limited to one. You special summon a Mermail monster from your graveyard. So yes, now Los is still abusing title. Summons Abyss Pike. Sorry, summons Genesis Controller. Attacks with lead. I think this is game. Alright. So Elden concedes. Now, would that have changed the game? I think Elden would have still lost, but uh, we'll, we'll never know had Lowe's had to skip that battle phase. It matters, man. I played yesterday, and I, like, I destroyed my opponent's artifact ignition, and yeah, sometimes it can slow you down, having to skip your battle phase. Especially when you're soul charging and stuff. All right, so game two, Elden goes first. Sets three back rows, one monster. Low sets two. Elden flips, summons fire hand. Looks like Elden's going to attack him for 16. And here comes... Oh, Malevolent Catastrophe! 
Well, he's asking about, and then he chains Abyss Sphere. Does Elden have a response to Abyss Sphere? And Elden lets it go through. So Abyss Sphere is special summons Lind. So when Abyss Sphere is destroyed, it's going to destroy the Abyss Lind. And now Abyss Lind's effect will activate. Call Moral Attack and Bottom. So you're seeing he set Moral Attack to dispel in Trap Card Zone. But Moral Attack will only special summon itself if it's destroyed during your opponent's turn. Since it's being destroyed during Elden's turn, it's not going to special summon itself. All right. I like Malcap. The only thing I, I don't like about it is, like, if your opponent sees it, game, like, two, and y'all go to game three, they most of the time they're not going to walk into it. Unless, sometimes they have to. All right, Abyss Pike, discard, uh, discards Atlantean Heavy Infantry. So, he's going to search first. But he has to target the Fire Hand. Yes, he's going to search for... For Alania, sorry, for Mermel Abyss Pike. Yes, yeah, Chainlink 1, Chainlink 2. I think. No. It should be Chainlink 1, Chainlink 2. Search Genix Undyne. Now, Heavy Infantry is going to destroy the Fire Hand. Fire Hand is going to destroy the Mermel Abyss Pike. Yeah, Murbo Abyss Pikes is destroyed in Elden's possession by his opponent's card and sent to the graveyard. He's going to special he's gonna pop the Murbo Abyss Pike with Fire Hand. And then special summon Ice Hand from his deck. So here Elden sum normal summons Trapdix Dianea, which is just a vanilla monster now. He's probably gonna make Dweller. It's gonna be a beefed up dweller because Abyss Dweller is a rank 4 XYZ monster generic. But if you have a water monster as an XYZ material, all water monsters you control gain 500 attack. Oh, we went for Rap City. I was thinking he could have gone for Dweller. Would have stopped Lose's Genix Undyne. Maybe he's a playing around Soul Charge. Maybe that's why he went for Rap City. Yeah. But now Lose can go Undyne effect. Yeah, I don't think Elden's... Maybe Elden's not familiar with Mermails. Maybe he didn't play back then. Now, remember, Genix Undyne sent any water monster from your deck to the graveyard. Add a Genix controller from your deck to your hand. And you have to add the Genix controller or you cannot use it. So, yes, yeah, so we add Genix controller. And then Atlanta Dragoon, since it was sent to the graveyard for a water monster's effect, at any Sea Serpent. He adds Mermail Abyss Megalo. And Lowe's reveals Megalo by discarding Pike and Marksman. So yeah, you can just, for a Mermel Abyss Megalo, it has like three effects. You can you can reveal it in your hand by discarding two water monsters from your hand to the graveyard. Special summon it. And when it's special summoned by this effect, you can add a Mermel Abyss spell or trap from your uh, deck to your hand. So here, he's obviously going to target the, since Marksman was sent to the graveyard for a water monster effect, he's going to destroy the back row. But... Elden Chains Breakthrough and negate the Abyss Megalos effect. So it stops it from searching a Mermail Abyss Spell or Trap. But he still hits him for a... He didn't attack him? I think he did attack. Yeah, he did attack. So here, Elden activates Soul Charge, brings back three monsters. So Los Chain Crow to Soul Charge. Now remember, if you don't if you don't special summon the monsters, you don't pay the life points. So that's why Elden only paid three. So here he goes for 101 Silent Arc, which you can attach two materials to basically target one face of attack position monster your opponent controls, and uh, basically kind of like equip it, make it an X Y Z material. So he took the Megalo and equipped it. Then he used Rap City's effect. Rap City, you can equip it to an X Y Z monster you control, it gains 1200 attack. So, uh, uh, 101 now is 3,300 attack. And also, 101 can protect itself by detaching an XYZ material from being destroyed by battle or card effects. What? Yeah. So, if you have two, you can protect it, protect it twice. 
So low summon Janice controller. So he can synchro summon Black Rose if he wants. I don't know if Lowe's plays Gungnir. I, I don't think he does. I think they only play Black Rose. Oh, no, that's a... That, oh, sorry, that's a level 6. I forgot. Undyne's a level 6. So that's like a DD Warrior Lady. This HTS... Hi, fi, I forgot his name. It's HTS. And Elden Ch Chains Call, Lowe's Chains MST to get rid of the call. So yeah, this is like a DD Warrior Lady. You see here, yeah, it's a DD Warrior Lady. That's the best way to explain it. <laughs> yeah, because you see here, he's still going to take the damage. So DD Warrior Lady... And Lowe's passes. Man. Now he summons another control. <laughs> Here comes a Sanctum. Special summon Moral Attack from his deck. Moral Attack destroys the controller. Well, that was a good draw, man. Sanctum. So now we're at 36 to 38. Elden sets another back row. Lowe's sets. Lowe's needs Lindy. Oh, it's heavy infantry. Here comes a oh, soul charge. <laughs> so one thing I was talking to my friend Eric about yesterday. He says one thing about hat format that's good is that you have a comeback mechanic with soul charge, which is true. It's like a good card when you're down. Like it looked bad for Lowe's and then he just top deck soul charge. Now some people hate it that, oh yeah, I lost because my opponent top deck soul charge. But it's at three and every deck can play three. So that's like... I don't know. Like me personally, there's good and there's good and bad in every format. It just comes down to preferences. Like some people are gonna love hat format, some people are gonna hate it, some people love Edison, some people hate it. Like I, I talked to a few a few of my friends at locals and they're like, I hate Edison, I refuse to play Edison, and then some people are like, I refuse to play hat. It's just yeah, it just comes down to pre player preference. So here Los <clears throat> activates 101. Uh Elden activates Trap Trick Shuffle Nightmare to negate 101's effect. But Alanian Dragoons is going to activate since, since it was sent to the graveyard to activate for a water monster's effect. Since 101 is a water monster, Dragoons will trigger to search Mermel Abyss lead. So loads that 600. Can Elden deal with this field? Depends on what that back row is. So he summons Trap Trick's Mermaleo. Searches another trap trick trap hole nightmare. What's Elden's last back row? Low uh, decides to attack over the Mermaleo for 800. Activates upstart, so now Lowe's is at 16. Activates another upstart. How do I feel about upstart and hat? Um. I still love Upstart, but and, and the life points matter way more in hat format because you give them life for Soul Charge, and you go into time a lot more in hat format than Edison. So it's a little bit more risky in hat format. So here you trap some is Trap Tricks Dine, or I like to call it Trap Tricks Blizzard, Trap Tricks Debris Dragon, Lowe's Breakthrough Skills it. So yeah, when it's normal summon, you special summon a Trap Tricks monster from your graveyard. He attacks, leaves Lowe's at 900, attacks over the Genix Undyne. Lowe's has three cards in hand. Special summons TS, but he knows he has Nightmare, right? Yeah, you just use Nightmare this. Don't you have a Nightmare? Oh, he didn't use the effect just to stay alive. Oh, I think that's what happened. Black Ship is game. Yeah, Black Ship burns the TS for game. So we are okay. So yeah, Los was playing around Trap Trick Type Hole Nightmare by not using Murbel Abyss Tius's effect. So Abyss Tius, you can discard one water monster from your hand, special summon Tius, but you reveal it, then search any Murmur monster from your deck to your hand. But it's not mandatory, so Los was able to just bring it out and not use. Also, I think uh, the it's kind of it, it kind of matters because Murbel Abyss Tius, you can only use the effect to search once per turn. So a lot of times, like I've seen people do it before, where they'll special summon Tius, and I think special summon another one, and not use the effect to search. I think you can special summon it more than once. So here you saw Los discard. He special summon Tius by discarding Pike. Normal summons Abyss Pike, discards Gundy. So Pike searches Marksman, and then Gundy special summons a another Abyss Pike. But Abyss Pike's only once per turn. The, the effect to search is only once per turn. 
So then Los XYZ summons Bahamut Shark. Bahamut Shark, you need, I think, two water monsters. Two level four water monsters. You can attach one material to special summon a level three XYZ water monster from your... Yeah, just special from an extra deck monster. So here Elden summons Mermelale. These two are getting close to time, so you can see they're playing kind of fast. End phase. Yeah, Los is going to try to snipe one of those back rows. Then Abyss Fear destroys Abyss Lind. Yes. Abyss Lind, since it was destroyed, is going to special summon a third Abyss Pike from Los's deck. Los is going to discard mar uh, Marksman for Pike's effect. Search. Genix Undyne. And now Marksman is going to snipe one of the back rows. Snipes. The Trap Trick Trap Hole Nightmare. Okay, I'm going to look up some of these cards. Now Los summons Genix Undyne. Maybe he's going to snipe one of the back rows. I already explained Undyne, so I'm not going to go over here again. So Heavy Infantry is going to pop the... Yes, he's going to pop the... Mermaleo, and then it lures away the the guy. So here comes... Oh, Sanctum! So he's going to target the Bahamut Shark, because Lowe's can't deal with the... Yeah, he can't deal with the... Uh, with the moral attack, unless if he crashes his T uh, Abyss. What's this card's name? I forgot the name of the, that card's name. I actually used that card on my dueling book profile picture and I forgot the name. <laughs> What's its name? Oh, I forgot the name. It's like a it special summons a mermail monster from your graveyard when it's sent to the yeah, when it's destroyed. So Los with that uh, with that X Y Z crashed into the moral attack, then brought back Lindy from his graveyard, crashed the Lindy into the yeah I don't know what happened, but I think he just screwed because of time. So Los is moving on with a round one win. I uh, hope you guys enjoy that match. So let me just go over some of the two things that I, I wanted to explain. Yes, Murbo Abyss Tears, you can special summon it more than once, but you can only search once per turn. Now, let me go look up Bahamut Shark before I end this video because I forgot its effect. Uh, Bahamut Shark. Oh. So you need two level four water monsters for Bahamut Shark. Once per turn, you can attach one, my one material from this card, special summon one rank three or lower water XYZ monster from your extra deck. This card cannot attack for the rest of this turn. So actually, I want to go over a story just to brag about myself for a little bit. Uh, Bahamut Shark in Game Three of the Finals of the YCS, I won. I I summoned that card and won with it. Anyways, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed that match. Let me know if I missed anything, and we'll be back soon for you know some more Edison and Hat. Bye guys.